Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to talk about how you can set up a basic mesh core communication system. Just between a couple of devices, we're not interested in communicating with the wider mesh and talking to strangers or doing any of that stuff. We just literally want to set up a basic communication between a couple of devices. Maybe you're kind of, you've got a family or you're at a music festival or something like that. You just want to be able to keep in contact with friends and family or maybe even give a couple of these to your kids and kind of, you know, while they're out and about and you want to be able to message them without having to worry about a cell connection or internet. Now for obvious reasons you don't want random people messaging your kids or your family so this video is going to show you how you can set up private communications on MeshCore which is actually one of the things that it really excels at. Private communications encrypted and pretty much undetectable. So let's dive in. So to start with, I've got an Android smartphone here. You can use an Apple iPhone. It's exactly the same app on both devices. It looks the same, feels the same. All the features are exactly the same. And the mesh core device I'm going to be using here is this SenseCap T1000E. You can order these directly from our website. At the moment, it's an affiliate link on our meshcore.co.uk website, but soon we will have stock of these with MeshCore um, pre-installed. It's a great little device. It's waterproof. It lasts a couple of days on the built-in battery, and it's generally just nice and compact fits in your pocket you can also put, put it on a lanyard and hang it around your neck if you really want to so i've already got the mesh core app downloaded and installed on this android smartphone i've also paired the mesh core device up to the smartphone as well so we are now connected so this is what you'll see when you first get going you can see up here we've got no name so let's set a name just hit this little cog up the top go to where it says no name and this user is going to be called johnny there we go. And he's been assigned like a red color. But before we confirm that, I'm gonna go down here to contact settings and I'm actually gonna uncheck this box, auto add contacts. This will make sense in a minute, but what it basically means is that any contacts that are heard out in the wild, like people that you just don't know, they won't get added to your contact lists by default. And the default setting is actually set to add those contacts. That's just for kind of ease of use. But if you don't want that, you can just turn that off. And that's what I'm suggesting do here if you're setting up your own kind of little communication system. So now that we've turned that off, we can go back we can go back one step here and you can also see there's no location settings. Now MeshCore doesn't add location settings by default. You don't have to worry about turning this off. It won't beacon or beam your position location to people you don't know. It doesn't do that by default. So there's no need to worry about that. If you're in the UK, you don't need to worry about setting the radio settings. They'll be set by default there. If you're not in the UK, you can use this section here, um, suggested radio settings for different regions. Anyway, we're going to confirm that and that is now saved. So back to the main screen, you might have noticed here there's this little red dot by channels. So we've received some public channel messages. The public channel is free for anyone to use and we see here some messages from some of the locals here. If you don't want that, you can literally just remove that channel quite easily by doing that. And you won't see any of those messages and you won't be able to participate in those chats either. So what if my fake child, little Johnny, wants to take this with him and I want to be able to communicate with him as well. You see here, there's no channels, we've got no contacts. Well, the secret is in this menu option up here, discover contacts. So if you hit that, you'll basically see a bunch of devices that have been received. So these are all uh, live devices that have been picked up as we've been talking here since I first turned this on. So you can see this is almost like the screening process for like, who do I actually want to be able to communicate with? But you can see from here, my device here isn't actually in that list. So to get me in this discovery list, I go onto this device here and I just do an advert. I can do zero hop. And then what you should see is me appear there and you also get a notification as well. So from here, I can then just add and now I will actually be in the contact lists. And obviously it works the other way as well. So you've got to do this backwards to now this one to be able to be contacted by it. And you should see I will appear in this list. There we go. So now right away, we can just go about our business and just send messages backwards and forwards and they work fine and you get notifications. So this device will not be bothered by anyone else and it's effectively locked down to just private communication between these two here. There is one other thing you should do to sort of avoid getting those notifications um, of other devices popping up. So you can actually 
turn this off, new contact discovered, and then you definitely won't get bothered by any of the discovered um, devices. So if there's somebody else you want to communicate with and they're using the MeshCore T-Deck, that's fine as well. You can just literally go to um, discover contacts. You can see here, Andy T-Deck, and we can add myself to the contacts here. So now you can see this T-Deck has appeared in the contact list there. Now the cool thing is with the T-Deck is it works exactly the same way. So you've got a discovery list and you can basically pick and choose who is in your contacts list so you can see I've got a bunch of contacts in here um, of people that I talk to and I can actually find Johnny here and, and on the T-Deck it's actually called add to home um, but it does the same thing it's contacts basically and then you'll see Johnny there so now I can send him a message um, on that and it will come through on there as well. Now, one thing we can't do at the moment is all communicate together. To do that, you'd need to set up a channel, which is super easy. You can just basically create a new channel on the app here. You can just do add channel. You can create a channel with a secret key and you can basically start the process of doing that. So we can go um, private channel on this one here. Uh, we'll call it just private create and it will do that and it will actually create a key for us as well which you can then scan when you set this up um, on the other devices as well. On the T-Deck, obviously you can't scan um, QR codes, but you can actually just add a channel. Um, you can see here, we've got two channels available. You have to enable a channel on here. So you enable it and then you can basically type in the name and the key. Then everybody can communicate together privately. So there you go then guys, that is how to set up private communications with MeshCore. The cool thing about this is it will still utilize all your infrastructure or any infrastructure that's out there running MeshCore. So any MeshCore repeaters out there, they'll just repeat this traffic just as if it was any other traffic. Also, later on, we're going to be introducing ways to lock repeaters down and also control different groups of repeaters, for example. And this, along with the advanced pathing capabilities of MeshCore, will make it ideal for professional applications. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Catch you next time.